God bless you. Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. We greet you from God the Father and from his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. We greet you all today. God that made us, uh, God, God made us, he sent his Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to take away our sins, to cleanse us from sin, to obey him, keep his commandments, to give us his spirit, to be born of water and spirit, his spirit. And we obey him and be ready to go back with him when he comes and go to have eternal life, everlasting life. So therefore, he said, Jesus, take away our sin. To turn us from our sin. From our iniquity. Be born again of his spirit. And his water, which is the word of God. And you're to obey every word of God. Don't disobey. Don't. Break Jesus' commandment. Don't sin. You can't go to heaven and sin it. The devil got kicked out. But Jesus came. Give with his spirit, his nature. His nature, not the sin nature that you born with. That boy said you must be born again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Believe him. Call on him. Repent. Turn from your sin. Keep his commandment. Jesus came to take away your sin. All right. Now, now, I want to deal with this. Praise God, we ministered on yesterday. Minister, minister the word of God. No, not in your church building, but at the site house. If those that were in the house outside on the porch. Glory. We ministered on yesterday sick and afflicted. And ministered tangibly and gave much encouragement and instruction from the word of God in Exhorted and hallelujah. Encouraged. You know people need to be encouraged. So we encouraged. And we ministered and, and as we Well actually it was asked of us we 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 went to fulfill the need. Went to minister, show love, and minister tangibly. Okay? Fulfill the desire of saints' heart. Now, as we did that, my God, we was asked. A question and to give biblical instructions and to minister the word of God. He said, I know you're a preacher. And uh, God about you, you know, God's so good. Last last week. The Holy Ghost moved upon me and moved in me and spoke to me, through me. But that was by the Holy Ghost. And told me to go. To go, to go, go, go. And I had no idea. I mean, I know what go meant. And I also knew that, yeah, I will, I will be instructed where to go. Yes, yes, I will. But had no idea that that was 
to be fulfilled on yesterday, Friday. And things happen that uh, that that the, the prophecy, the instruction Jesus gave us through prophecy to go, we fulfilled that and obeyed Him on yesterday. Now, and I'm not going to all the mechanics, and I'm not going to even call the names of the individual. So, as we minister tangibly and bless them and show the love and, 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 and kindness and favor and to encourage them and so on and so forth, they say, I know you're a preacher. And they said, I started to call you. <laughs> I'm like, look at God. It, it, this is this, this is where he told me to go when the prophecy came last week he told me to go I see now say I know you're a preacher I started calling do you have any word I got a question for you and this will be good for you do you have any special words It's been sickness and sickness in our family. Specifics. And sickness and been been dealing with it for years. And the Lord moved twice in the so many years and raised them up. Now they're down again. Hallelujah. So, are there any words? What do you do when you're praying and you know you're living right and you know you're a good person and you believe that God faith? What do you do when God don't give you what you ask for? What do you do? So I, I, I have no doubt that some of you have the same question. You know you saved. You ain't living in sin. You living all you know how. You fear God. What do you do? Well, God don't heal your body. What do you do? Now here is what to do. Here, here, here is what to do. And here is the answer that I gave them directly from the word of God. Keep doing what you've been doing. You keep serving God. You keep pleasing God. You keep believing God. You keep doing the will of God. Remember when the apostle Paul had the thorn in the flesh, which all of us who suffer, who see the thorn in the flesh, was the persecution that all of us received for preaching the word of God. Go back and read that. He said, I would, I would therefore glory in my tribulation. <laughs> I glory in them. Now those are the things that the enemy bring upon us, the persecution and all that. Jesus said, you be persecuted for righteousness sake. But Jesus said, my grace is sufficient. What is that grace? That grace for you to continue to do what he told you to do. That's the grace. To continue to do what he ordained you to do. Continue to do it. Run over to Job. You know, don't you curse God. Look at what Job did. How you come a time with, with, with listen people, listen people. Do what you can while you can. There may come a time when you can't do what you were doing anymore. There may come that time. But your record will be there. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Doing the coronavirus. Folk bailing about not being able to go to church. What did you do while you were going to the building? What did you do? Did you do the will of God? Do what you can while you can. Come a time we won't be able to do no more. But your record will be there. On what you did. Run over the door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joel said, I will lie for the blind. Uh-huh. He know the way I take. Joel was perfect and upright. He feared God and excused evil. That was his record. Before the devil afflicted him. That was his record. Do what you can while you can. And your record will be there. Uh -huh. Remember now that I created the day like you. Quite the evil day come now. Uh, uh, when the, while, while the evil day draw now. And the evil day come now. When thou shalt say I had no plan there. When thou shalt shall say. Serve the Lord when you're young. Some of you ain't young. They serve, keep serving the Lord. Hallelujah. If that was that, keep doing what you're doing. My grace is sufficient. The grace given, let, let, let me do this. That if we if we told this on yesterday. Paul and the Apostle of Jesus Christ, by the grace given unto me. I ain't for that. I ain't for that. Paul, an apostle, by the grace given unto me. Here it is. Ephesians 3 8. My grace sufficient. Ephesians 3 8. This is what the boss said. Hallelujah to God. Three said. Three said. Let the eyes cry. Three, five. Three, six. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of the promise of Christ in Christ by the gospel. Whereof I was made a minister. I got that testimony. According to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power unto me who am less than, all, than the least of all saints is this grace given that I shall preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ to make all men see where the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers and heavenly places might be known by the church, the man of all wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have bolded in access with comforted by the faith of him. The grace. Paul would did it. Preach the gospel. Thank God I can say that too. He, he gave me that grace to preach the gospel. You keep my grace sufficient. You keep preaching. Preachers afflicted it. Women of God afflicted. My grace sufficient. You keep doing, you keep doing what he told you to do. You may not be mobile in you, may not can get around the way you used to, but hallelujah, you Lord, you got a mouth, you keep preaching. You keep looking under Jesus. Don't you curse God. Don't turn on God. Hallelujah. Keep doing what you're doing. That's the answer. Keep doing what you're doing. Now in the in the scripture. 
There is not much mention dealing with physical healing. The most important thing in the scripture is that you please God. Yeah, physical healing, miracles, all that. Yeah. Way maker, all that. Bread and starving land. Yeah, all that's in there. But the main thing is that you please God. That's the main thing. You do his will. Now, I want to. That's what you do. You keep believing. You keep trusting. Mainly you keep doing his will. You keep doing his will. You got a sick little one. Uh, you keep taking care of You keep ministering to the sick little ones. You keep taking care of them. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> In Corinthians, I need to show you something. He will only throw it to throw out the, the, the no, I don't have those slick words. And furthermore, and I'm rushing for the sake of time. If if, if, if furthermore, look at Job. Hallelujah. His friends. Said Joe, the reason you in the shape you in is that paraphrase. Go back and read the book of Joe. You a hypocrite. You ain't saved. You ain't righteous because that stuff don't happen to righteous folk. Now somebody just got delivered. Oh yes, it do happen to righteous folk. Wait a minute. Wait, but you got scripture to where what happened to Joe don't happen to Joe. Enemies came not on the whirlwind and, 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 and tornado, and, 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 but enemies came. That no Paul, and you got in the scripture that no Paul to have the right to vote. But enemies came. I believe it was the Sabians. They came and took Joel's the night. You know that was Paul to have the Joel. You know what one Paul said. In the law, the, 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 they won't have you, they, 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 uh, 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 so on and so on and so forth. I tell people, read the entire scripture. It happened to David. Took all David wives and took all this and David that God should I pursue and he said pursue and you will recover all. Oh uh, my God! You, you, how many y'all, how many y'all caught that? Say, Job, you sin, you are right. Now in Corinthians, it, it's a all the problems, all the problems in here, but yeah, and amen. That's the gospel. The gospel is always yeah. Uh, Go to 2 Corinthians uh, uh, chapter 1 and verse 18, 19, 20. That's about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, the gospel is, yeah. You obey, yeah. It had, it, in context, it, it back on up to the 12, they intended to come and visit these certain people, but they were not able to, although it was their intention. Read the 12th verse. It gone down to 17. Wherefore I therefore was thus minded, did I use lightning or the thing that I purposed do I purpose according to the fact that it with me? That should be 
that should be yay, yay, and nay, nay. Nevertheless, Joe, friend, they didn't speak about it right. Let go over here to Joe. See what God said. No one was said, you keep doing the will of God. Hold on right there. I know a lady that was on her sick bed. She dead now. And she would die in. She had cancer. She would die in. But on her sick bed. Could hardly move. Incapacitated. The last few days of her life. She was on her sick bed dying. Leaving here. Praising God. Giving God glory on her sick bed. But, uh, didn't have no audience or nothing. And, and the woman of God went in and, and, and she heard her. Say, is she in pain or something? Why is she doing that? And she went to listen to what she was saying. And then one was praising God. Leaving him. On her sick bed. Suffering. Giving God his glory. And she left on out of here. Praising God. You keep praying to God. You keep serving God. Excuse me. But what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to be like Job, friend, and say you ain't saved. You know you saved. You know you living right. Go to Job. Forty-two. Did Job after the Lord and said, I know that thou can do everything, and that no thought can be withholden from thee. Who is he that hide the counsel without knowledge? Devil have I uttered and understood not the thing too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Something you don't understand. You don't understand. Don't nobody have no answer for you. You, have, you don't understand. Here I beseech ye, I will speak. I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. I have heard of thee by the hearing of my ear. Now my eye seeth thee. Wherefore I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. For evil, for evil, question you, questioning you, God. I told him that too. Hey, yo, question God. And it was so that I'm the Lord that spoke these words on the Job. The Lord said the other path, the, 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 the Timonite, my wrath and kill against thee, and against thy two words, for ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right and my servant Job. You didn't speak the thing that is right. You didn't speak about God right. God won't let nothing happen to the righteous. You ain't speaking right. Sickness won't come on the righteous. You ain't speaking right. Sickness can't come on the righteous. You ain't speaking right. Some of you right up there preaching. Can't no sickness be on your body and all that. And you wearing eyeglass. Who told you that? Where the scripture that say sickness can't be on the righteous? Where is that scripture? Give me that scripture. It's not in there. Don't you tell me that. Don't you tell me that. And I'm, and I'm just going to quote for the, I wrote down from the script, but I'm going to quote for the, for sake of time. For sake of time, I'm going to just quote it. I wrote down from the script. Leviticus chapter 13. The Lord told Moses about people that had leprosy. God said, uh, separate them. But lock them, lock them up for seven days, uh, another seven days, and so on and so forth. God said that. Now these were God people. There were no enemy. They were God people with leprosy.
Leviticus chapter 13. Let's go. Let's go there. Hey. You know, I know you ain't going to read. You ain't going to read. You want, be careful how you speak about God. Leviticus chapter 13. Look what, look what God said. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, this is God talking. When a man shall have a skin in his flesh, a rise in the scab, a bright spot, and it be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought to Aaron the priest or to one of his sons of the priest, and the priest shall look at the plague in the skin of his flesh, and when they have the plague and turn white, and the plague in the sight be deeper in the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy, and the priest shall look on him, pronounce him unclean, and then the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, and in the sight in the sight be not deeper in the skin, and if the hair there be not turned to white, then the priest shall shut him up that had the plague seven day. God said this. God said, these God people. It, it, it didn't say they had leprosy because of sin. It didn't say they had leprosy because of sin. Deuteronomy 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. This is good. Watch it. Set 15. Look at not not now. Here's a problem with God. Here, here's a problem with God. And the Lord will take away from thee all the sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases in Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate. D. When, when he put on the Egyptians, he ain't gonna put on you for the Egyptian sin. Now that's a problem. <laughs> huh? Now uh Second Kings thirteen fourteen. You better speak about God right. I need to show you something. Now Elijah had fallen sick and his sickness whereof he died. Elijah, the man of God, got sick and died. You better speak about God, right? And I'm, and I'm, going, and I'm going to this cut short. Elijah, the man of God. I mean, uh, Hezekiah, the man of God. Who told you, you go, you go, you go, die and not live. Set the house at all. He told you back to the wall. God said, I probably back to him again, fifty more years. And he got a lump of feet put on his ball. All right. I want to end with this. Jesus told <coughs> in the book of John in the 11th chapter in the fourth verse they deal with Lazarus. When Jesus heard it he said this sickness is not unto death. If some sickness are to death, if some sickness gonna take you out of here, Jesus said, "This sickness is not unto death." That means some sickness unto death. Some sickness you live with it ain't gonna kill you, but you can live with 
my God. But you keep doing what you do. What do you do? What do you think heal you? You keep doing what you do. That's what you do. You keep doing his will. The grace he has gave you, keep doing it. Keep doing what he told you to do. Here's another thing I told you. You have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost shall comfort thee. The comforter. You're going to need confidence. The Holy Ghost will comfort you. He also renew your strength. He'll give you strength to keep doing what you're doing. You keep helping. You keep aiding. You keep giving on. You keep preaching the gospel. You keep living right. You keep representing. Don't turn your back on God. Joe said, don't he slay me yet will I trust him. You keep doing what you're doing. Keep praying. Keep believing. Keep looking for it. But in the meantime, you keep doing what you're doing. Hallelujah. In the 15th chapter, see, we don't have immortal bodies. Anything can happen to us. We got to put on immortality. We're mortal now. Anything can happen to us. You cut a wheel, bleed. We'll catch cold. We'll catch disease. We'll catch corona. We'll catch the flu. Pneumonia. We're mortal, not immortal. We will be immortal. And in that day, no sickness, no death, nothing. Oh, former thing. In the 11th chapter. See, I'll buy. When they more shall put on immortality. We're not immortal yet. Even, 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 even those big. Do you, those whipping and beating and all that kind of stuff that were put on the apostles, do you think they got healed? Let's get that. What do I have here? Second Timothy four and twenty. Well, this 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 is the guy that Paul left sick. Erastus abode at Corinth, but Trophimus. Have I left at Miletum sick? He's sick. Paul left him sick. Left him sick. He didn't leave him healed. He left him sick. He's sick. Something else I got. Is that 2 Corinthians 4? Let's see. Here it is. 2 Corinthians 4, 17. Sixteen. Well, Eight, eight, forty, second and forty. We are troubled on the other side. We are not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of our Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. That the life also of Jesus Christ might be manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death working in us, but life in you. We have the same spirit of faith, called that in the written. I believe that when I have spoken, we also believe that will speak. Knowing that he would raise up the Lord 
Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus shall present us with you. The resurrection coming. For in all things are for your sake and the abundance of grace through the thanksgiving of men and rebound in the glory of God. For which call we faint not. But though our outward man perish, the outward man perish, all those beatings and afflictions and stoning and whipping, they still had they they still had those scars. It didn't say they would heal of that. Watch it. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. The outward man perish, but the inward man renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working in the four more seal of the eternal weight of glory. Why we look, and here's the thing, why we look not at the thing which I see, but the thing which I not see. For the thing which I see not temple, but the thing which I not see. Hallelujah. Our eternal. You keep your eyes on Jesus. You keep doing the will of God. Yeah, keep believing for healing and deliverance. Yes. But in the meantime, you keep doing his will. That's the main thing. Do his will. What you do, you keep doing what you're doing. You keep doing the will of God. Keep doing the will of God. Don't talk God food. The hell you, the hell you question God. I know these jack leg priests. All the one God question God. They don't you you question God. You keep doing uh, who is you to question God? You keep doing what you're doing. You keep doing the will of God. You keep preaching the gospel. Do what you can while you can. It may come a time when you can't do what you can, but your record is you did what you could. You keep doing God's will, that's what you do. You keep believing, you keep praying, you keep hoping. You keep fasting. You keep preaching. No matter what, you keep doing it. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going we're gonna to have a, a, a we're going to put on immortality one day if it's coming. That's what we're looking forward to. We'll leave it right there. That's enough of that. Keep doing what you're doing. That's enough. God bless you. Thank you for it.